In this video, I'll show you how to enable proxy video editing in CapCut for Windows. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, proxy files or proxy video editing. What is this? Now, a proxy file is a smaller or a lower quality video file of that particular original file and it helps you make your edits easier. But when rendering the video, the original file is referenced. So, let me show you how you can enable proxy video editing in CapCut. Let's add a new project. And let's assume you're working with like 4K footage, uh, something like this. This footage, is, I believe, is in 4K. Now, it's pretty simple. Just go to the menu up here, click on the drop down, and then click on settings. And then from this uh, settings dialog box, we've got the project edit performance. Now, I've got uh, speed. Uh, speed up hardware encoding because of the graphics card and all that but proxy mode is turned on by default when a new project is created so if i click on this and then click on save what is going to happen is for example uh let's see let's actually close this out completely let's delete this and then close out that whole project and then open up CapCut again Let's create a new project. Let's add, let's say like these two video files here. You'll see some new timer running and it's creating or generating proxy. So you'll see a proxy right here. What that does is that if I play this, that's kind of the, the file that is in proxy. But if I add it uh, to my timeline here, what happens is that this is a low quality video of the original but only for the editing purposes. So it's going to save you time. There's, be, there's, there's not going to be any lag when you're editing your videos. So it's going to help you speed up your editing process because the video is going to play smoothly as you work. And then when you go to export, it's going to reference the original video file. But that is how you can enable the proxy video editing. But if you don't want it, you can still go back to menu, settings, and then go to performance and then uncheck this. Remember to delete uh, the proxy size to avoid eating so much into your space. Click on save if you don't want it. And that's it for this video. And that is how you can enable or disable proxy video editing in CapCut for Windows. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.